Morning peeps. Phil the hair man here. Whoosh. So I woke up with my hair like this today and I'll tell you why it didn't move because I had a lot of this in it yesterday because it was blowing a hooligan and uh, so um, it stayed in place with my disco dancing. So I'm now going to remove it. So I thought I might as well remove it in front of you all. So why am I doing this? I'll show you why. Because if I put the brush through without leaving conditioner, it'd go <coughs> And then if I carry it on for our amazing hairlines, on tapes as well, I'll potentially pull hair out. So, because I've lacquered the hair system, I have to think of the appropriate, if that's the right word, care, the next day. So, you can see I'm going through it now. So I'm going to remove this. Look, it's, look there. It don't want to go through. So, sensible. Put more leave-in conditioner on it. Sensible. Now our system's of top of the food chain, yeah? But that means I'm gonna bring that company up. Oh my God. God hair, I think it's called. Their systems are terrible. And they say, um, why buy expensive when you can buy cheap? That's their slogan. Ten, 10 systems I see, five look okay. Five look, what is the point of having them on your head? They're on show, 24 seven. Anyway, rant over. Right, so I do this, so I'm protecting an expensive hair system. Look, I've lost the hair, there we go. See, even with that. So if I'd have gone through without brush, putting the leave-in conditioner in, it would have pulled about 20 hairs out. So this must be done. Right, okay, so this is gonna to be tough because I've got my glasses off, but I'm taking the system off today because it's Sundays, and generally I like taking my hair system off on a Sunday. That's the autistic person in me. I take my hair system off on Sundays. Right, um, <laughs> sorry, right, where was I? So I take my hair system off on Sundays and I generally put on the fat suit um, and jump on the cross trainer and give it hell for an hour. So um, the fat suit's like, you sweat a lot on it. So I generally do that, condition the system, tape up, and then either wear the cap the rest of the day on a Sunday, because I wear my cap on a Sunday and um, or put the hair system back on. So, without further ado, I'm still annoyed that I lost that one hair. What's this guy called? Um, Jim Carrey. Dumber and Dumber, that's it. Right, okay, so I'm staying low. This is not the way to do it. So I'm gonna have this here. I'm going to spray the hair system in, the, the ha lace release. Oh, that's another thing as well. The dab on lace release, I think I should stop selling that. Because you've got to dab it, obviously. Logic is like dabbing it on the lace with delicate, fantastic hair systems. Can't be good, isn't it? Well, I'll give an example. I'll just hit my head and self-harm. It can't be good, can it? And that's what you've got to do with it. So. I am going to try and stop selling them and use these, but could run down into my eyes, but I want to show you, I sh spirits enough, I don't want to show you my double chin, put on a few pounds of mine. Right, I'm experienced enough to do that, so hopefully you'll see it peel up away from the, I haven't got my glasses on, away from the lace. Right, so it needs a bit more in it. 
So pretty much, right, if you've got a hair system, oh by the way, I'm a dog walker, I've got, if I've got dirty nails, and I've just been walking my Rhodesian Ridge back, so I do apologise for people that see dirty nails. It throws her ball. Right, okay, so. This should work out, where it comes in off reasonably easy. Let's have a look. Is that not gripped? Well, that's unusual. Right, but so, okay, so we'll get on with that. Normally, the tape, oh, sorry. Normally, the tape stays on the head, where it hasn't. Why did that happen? Because I put enough on there. Probably, because I've worked out quite hard this week on the cross trainer. So normally it sticks to the scalp. Right, hold on a second, a bit of lace release. So what am I going to do now? Right, in that case I'm going to follow it and just take it off with the tape on there. Okay, that will mean... So the tape has normally stays onto my head. So, thinking on my paws, the reason being it did stay on there with spraying the lace through is because I've worked out harder this week probably kept the system on one day longer than I'd like and it's lost its tackiness on that beautiful bold head of mine um, <laughs> so now I'll just take it off like this yeah so what I'll do once it's off then I'll spray the, the lace release into the system from the hair, hair side so make sure I can peel it off the system without pulling any hair through okay tip for the day <laughs> fill the hair man over hello gents everyone that's seen me I always say that I really sweat profusely well I've just been on the cross trainer didn't get didn't go in the fat suit I'm gonna do that tonight a double session but have a look Bold head sweating. Have a look at this. There's a point to this. My business model works. You're going to see today how easy it is for me to do a once a week attachment carefully. Granted, I've been doing this a long time, but it is not rocket science. If you can't get back into the salon every four weeks for a professional to do this, you have to do a once a week attachment. That's what works and I'll prove it today, okay? Right, I'm off now walking the dog. I won't show you my nails because I haven't had a shower yet. So you'll see me clean the system. Oh, cut my hair. I'm actually doing a cutting on a block as well today, so that will be later on. Um, a guy with curly hair, really nice guy. Repaired system, hair ad, so I'm going to do that a bit later. Anyway, go off on a tangent as I do. So, I'll see you guys and probably ladies later. Over Sweaty Phil. Okay, so this morning, as you saw, I took the hair system off. Normally, if I spray the lace through here, this comes off and stays on my head. So it didn't. And um, I worked out very quickly, being on the spot, that I'd sweated too much, so it wasn't really gripping from my workouts that week, wasn't really gripping to my skin as much as I thought it would. So, so these are one of these things you've got, you will go through a lot of lace release, yeah, because it stops help putting the, the hair through. Right, remember my, I've got doggies. <laughs> I've just got back from a hike, uh, so I apologise about my dirty nails. I'm not normally that dirty. I'm quite a clean person. Aren't I, mummy? Yes, Philip. Right, so what I'm doing there is I put the nail in, and I do this, look. Supporting that bit. Right, so that's the first released it. Then, hopefully you can see it. Then I peel, and it's coming off okay. The reason you can see me doing this is I'm not ripping it off. I'm seeing if there's any hair being pulled through. Because if there is, there's not enough lace being pulled through. But there's no hair being pulled through. 
So I think that was just, uh, and then there to the poly, which is great. Go around to this side again. Ooh. Oh, right. Okay, on the spot. I must have got hair underneath when I attached it. So I stop because it's got lace rays at least in, and I pull it out and I save some hair. Wow, there we go. Dealing with something on the spot. It's just logical though, wouldn't it? Right, so that's not going up. So, and there's still a bit of lace to go. So I turn it over, go in here, spray this through, press it, and abracadabra, it comes off and doesn't pull any hair through. Right, so then I'll peel the lace off, the, the tape off the perimeter. That's easy because there's a poly band there. This, easy peasy. Right, now, guys, ladies, if you talk properly, with enthusiasm, <laughs> self-maintenance can be done. If you're not taught properly, it's going to be hellish for you. So it really is down to all the staff, including me at HQ, to teach you properly. Because let's be honest, do you really want to be on the M4 for two hours in traffic? And trust me, my stylist, if people turn up late, they're stressed. And then how are you going to have a good regroom? when you turn up late because of traffic. So the sooner you learn to do this, the better. For that day so you can't do it, come and get to HQ. I'm definitely changing the business model. Everyone's welcome here every four weeks to let the professionals do it. If you can't do it, then I'm gonna do fitting and extended training and then insist that you come two more times for regroom regroom and training and then you can stay here for as long as you like or learn to self-maintain it there we go right i'll um quickly put some cotton wool on it here's some i made earlier so you can see the adhesive on there still on there On the lace not that much to be fair right hopefully you can see it <laughs> I hope you can see it because this is quite a good email I'm chatting away I don't really know what I'm gonna chat about apart from logic oh you can see look easy easy well I was speaking to um, Zoe on Friday about this she said Phil you remember the generation game all you youngsters won't, but Google it. You'll see Bruce Forsyth with the worst hair system in the world on it. Actually, when he first started um, Generation Game in the 70s, when I was watching it, he didn't have a hair system on. Then he did. Never been a good one for Bruce, but I really liked him. Anyway, I've gone off the subject. She said to me, Phil, remember the Generation Game? Now, if a pottery person came and did pottery in front of everyone for a minute and then gave the contestants three minutes to copy, there'd be a beautiful pottery from the potterer, and then it'd go all over the place for the new people. So you've got to understand, Philip, that you've been doing this 30 years. And I said, okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. But really, does this look like pottery? <laughs> right, anyway, enough said. Right, so I'm cleaning this like this. See how easy it is? And I put it into the hair, and I do this, that's already clean. Hence why once a week attachment is the best for self-maintenance. Not once every two weeks, not once every three weeks, once a week if you're away from professionals is the way for success. Follow the hair man. Don't listen to anybody else. Follow the hair man if you're self-maintaining. Right, I'll wash it and get back to you. Bye, so I've cleaned it. I spray some C22 in there. Let it soak for a bit. Get some uh, cotton wool and this finishes it off. This picks up the tiny bit of adhesive that is left there. Because it's been on a week, 
even though I've worked, I I have trained quite a lot this week on on cardio. Right. Okay. This is success. Once a week. Hardly any residue. Easy. Let's keep it simple and stupid. Once a week attachment for people that self-maintain. And then I'm pretty much done. That's clean. These little bits I pick off, but I can see all the way through these little holes at the front. That means there's no adhesive there or tape adhesive. Right, ready to wash it. I actually like washing it on here, so I do this both sides. This gets all the lace release and the C22 off. I'm using all these things so you can see. I probably uh, wouldn't do it like this this way. So I'll come in and get some shampoo so you can see it. Plonk it on the underside. I always do that on the underside. Why do I do that, Philip, on the underside? So it pushes through the little holes. So that encourages any adhesive to go through onto the hair and then I'll rinse the hair. That's why I do that. So I don't care if it lavas. The lava's only there for show anyway. Right, so I know that's being washed. I fold it, put some more of my hair. Go in on this now. And then this is what I do when it's off the head. Another benefit from wearing once a week, you can actually do the shampoo and condition when it's off the head. So that doesn't mean that I don't wash my hair during the week. I don't shampoo it during the week, to be fair, when it's on my head, I only do it when it's off. But what I do is I use warm water after I've worked out on top of the head, because it's on my head. Then I spray in the main thing, which is leave-in conditioner. So there we go, I haven't lathered it up. I'll just get a brush. Everybody's heard me say this. I always brush from the back of the system going forward because the delicate knots are at the front. So I'll do it this way. So it's brushing it through and it's not touching the front. So okay, and I also do it this way on my head. I basically do it this way in the shower on my head if I do wash it, which I rarely do. Right, okay. Not sure if you're aware of this, but I've got no hair on. Oh, that's obvious, isn't it? Because I got that. But I don't know if he gets. I don't know if he gets sneaky looks for this. Right. So then I do the same with the conditioner. Get a load in my hand. Right. Again on the base. Then I squeeze it through like this. Again, theory is if there's any uh, adhesive on the inner of the lace, the little holes it pops through to the other side. Then I use a palm on my hand like this. And again, if it's on your head, you should do it exactly this way. I use a brush, I don't use my hands to brush it through. If it's on my head, I'll be doing the same and it doesn't touch the delicate lace at the front. If you're gonna lose hair, you're better off losing it here where there's hair around it plus your own around the back. So I leave it five minutes, I rinse it off. Okay, so, been on for five minutes, let's speed things up, but leave it on for five minutes if you can. Rinse. Again, if it's on your head from the back, this is on my head in the shower, this is what I'll be doing. Oh, Rinsing like this. Theory like a broken record, you're protecting the front. That's that done. Then, I've got to run and get a towel man. Then the same as on the head. Put the system in and you pat dry. On your head you pat dry. So I don't know if you can see it. On your head you pat dry. But what I do when it's off my head is I just roll it up. Don't rub, I roll. Roll it up. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Then I actually do that. 
and then it's dry and there's no stress from the brushes. It's all logical. All logical. That's not my hair, by the way. That's dark. Hmm. Right. Then I'll do this. Style it. Now I get ready to tape up. Perhaps the generation games could start again and they can invite Phil the hair man on there. Can you see my knee? Nobody knee contest. Alright, okay, so I use lace tape all the way around, lace adhesive. Always keeping it here to keep the hair out of it. Okay, it's much hair or less on um, the tape the better right okay so I'm assuming you can see that my knobbly knees right I'm not going to tape up all the way around I'm just going to do a little bit because um, it'd be like watching paint dry even though I can talk for England or Britain I've been talking quite a lot during this anyway right so I just kept cut that at an angle you can see it's not square I come in here and I make it taut I go in like this one mil I leave of lace tape. I'll come up and show you. But you can see one mil, you can see it probably there. And I go all the way around like this, right? So that at an angle here instead of square, it just helps go around the corner. So I'm just assuming you can see everything. Right, so that's come off easily. I'm just gonna do another one here and do the front hairline. Right, this could all go end up in tears. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Right, okay, hopefully you can see. I'm going in an angle. There, right, okay. Then I go on this. Can you see, hopefully, make it taut. And you can see I come and join that bit just on the edge. And I do land here. And obviously when I get round here, I do smaller bits. Then I just peel it off. Because I'm going to put it straight on, I don't put the backing back on at the moment. Right, so I'm going to go for I'm going to go a little bit longer. I'm going to go round to a tricky bit. So I just cut off a smaller piece, as you see. Hopefully, then I come in because it's smaller. I've done that absolutely perfectly, and I put that there. Land it sticky. Goes onto that bit. Press it down. Peel off. Next one. On to the next. Next girlfriend said that to me when uh, we broke up. She said, on to the next one. I always remember that saying. Anyway, right, so I'll go all the way round. I'll give myself a little haircut, put it on, and job done. Oh! Get the hair on quick, okay. Lace taped all the way over. Right, it's gonna be a quick haircut. Um, Yes, I'm doing it. Get a look at this baby. Right, so I don't really need a haircut, so this is going to be quite easy because I gave one last week. But I'll just, shall I? I'll just do a four. This is going to be more for show, show no fear. Right, okay, so I've pretty much done my hair, so I won't do any shorter. But I'll put it on a number four so I don't mind taking a little bit off the top if there is any. Okay? Little bit. Oh, quite a bit. A little bit. I actually needed, needed a cut there then. So I actually do this with uh, one at the bottom and obviously I'll, I stop just over my neat line and just go up. The only bit... There we go, I did need some right there. The only bit I... Um, struggle with which I w wouldn't a little bit there we go that's it the only bit I struggle with which I wouldn't if I had good eyes is round my ears so I can't really <laughs> do round my ears I have my glasses on so I'll cut my ears off okay so ready to attach I'll even do it in front of a camera we got water, let me give me a chance to do all this. Brush. See if I can do it just staring into the mirror. 
Right, I'll do this a little bit there. So I do this generally, I've done this a long time, so I, I kind of get a feel for where the hair system will go. So I just have a quick, I'm cheating a little bit, I'm looking away from the, the mirror, get the centre bit, up, boom, spot on. Then I do this, I roll, can you see? Spin round to the back. That spinner doesn't work now. <laughs> Hopefully you can see me. Roll it. The good thing about tapes is you can put your hands on it here. Boom! Boom, boom. I haven't got a towel. Oh, it's like being next door. They got a Gracie Barra next door for Jiu Jitsu. I'm having a wrestle with the Toy Stylus chair that should spin. Didn't spin at all. But I think I won. Right, towel on. This is an absolute must, everyone. Every night, every day, every minute of the day. No, every hour of the day, if you want. So. There we go. Right. How did I do? Perfect. Right. So I'm gonna saturate myself now. What do you want to talk about? Um, right. So obviously with the enthusiastic training at HQ, believing this is possible, this is doable, isn't it? To be able to do this. Right. If you can't, then you've got to come back to the salon every four weeks. Going back to my Dumber and Dumber. I hate this brush, but I'll do it with this brush. So I just don't want to waste any time. Right. Okay. So. Oh, age. A little pack dry. So we'll rather put a uh, conditioner on it. Leaving conditioner spray. Right, so we all know what I do if you watch my videos. I put it in place. That bit's a bit, needs a bit more spray on there. And then I let it dry for 10 minutes. Then I come in and style it, finishing it. So this will look good in a minute. But it look better. I do the swoosh. Nah, I think. I think I'm going to do the swoosh the other side now today. <laughs> I hope you notice what I just did. I just I just showed you a well-made system. Trust me. Some of the things I see. You can just play football with it, put it on your head and hope for your best. But I've just gone the swoosh look that way. And I'll carefully change that. You can only do this with well-made terror systems, guys. Whereas freestyle and definite crown, where painstakingly the hair has been put in in the direction, even down to the last minute, well-made Formula One hair systems. The hair direction, flat knot slowly, the knotter puts them in the direction of the template. I think I just wanted to chat, didn't I? Right, I'll leave that for 10 minutes, come back with glasses on and finish it off. But I'll let, I'll let, I'm going to go on the computer now, do a little bit of work. Not like a keyboard warrior, my YouTube lovers. Do a little bit of work, come back, style it with my glasses on, and video done. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? The beast. No, he's not. Right, okay, so I've got a brush I like. To be honest, I like it kind of wet drying. It looks quite good to be fair. Whoosh.
Like a bit there. Like not a definite part. <laughs> 